Um, I know recently, like Fort Worth is not only, I mean, we know you doing your thing with artists, but Fort Worth has birthed like two of the biggest YouTube internet personalities, Charleston White and um, OG Person. For sure. Um, what's your, what's your stance on, like, what is in the water that makes people in Fort Worth capture the nation? Man, so, D, I've been trying to figure this shit out for a long time now, and I just think it's... It's like it's like a Memphis. Like the shit is gonna go viral in Memphis. You yeah. just know that. If you see some black shit like going crazy on the internet, it's probably from Memphis. But a lot of that shit be from Fort Worth. So you I know Charleston personally. I know OG Percy personally. Um you you those guys, man, they have figured out how to um they're good at sensationalism. Mm -hmm. You dig what I'm saying? And then in Fort Worth, we know how to talk shit. That's easy. That's like a and most of us are uh, you can't match wits with those guys. You dig what I'm saying? You're gonna lose. So, man, I shout out to them guys, man. They putting a light on the city, you know. But it ain't just them. So you got Percy and Charleston. You got Brother Ben X. Yeah, he's from Fort Worth. He's big on the internet. You got Trent, um, Reginald Trent Rose is a writer. He's also the guy who started the Truman Street Bloods in Fort Worth. Okay, but he's an established writer. He has like 170 thousand people following him on Facebook. He makes a lot of money from social media. You got Trent Shelton. Um, he's big. He's probably um, rehab time on, on Instagram. I've like never heard of him. Million followers. He, he's probably the biggest out of all of them. Mm. Then you got Pops, Weasel. You know who Weasel is? No, is that the one Charleston always shout out though, Pops? Right. That's where that's where the game come from. Got you. From Pops. So when you look at Charleston, did you see him getting his big? Um, so, <laughs> yeah, you could say that. My introduction to Charleston was different. Like, Charleston is a guy who went in, who went to the school district and, 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 and tried to sink our hood fame ship when Yayo was at <laughs> Side Middle School. He went there and did, that was kind of his first public, um, snitching, uh, fiasco was with us. So we didn't know him. But it was like, why? Like, we didn't know why he did it. Um, but as I got to talk, I saw I was talking to Charles, and after that, we would talk on the phone periodically. You knew it was there. So then when he went on the internet, man, there's some people that could just press that live button, uh, D, and he one of them. He just so happened to be from Fort Worth. So when you see him going, it, do you think he go too far? Uh, with what? With his antics, the, the character online. Well, you got to ask his listeners that. Now some of the shit he say, I don't, I wouldn't, I ain't with that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of that shit, but a lot of that shit, that's up to his listeners and his followers. Mm. I ain't one of them. Got you. Shout out Charles, you know he in the documentary doing his thing. Yeah. You feel me? Percy is too. Like if you was managing Charleston right now, what would be some of the things you would be doing to try to steer Charleston to the top? All right, so right now, and this this off the top, this ain't some shit I didn't thought about. So. But fuck with me. Right now, he has everybody not going against Tip or Boosie about how they parenting their sons, but he's struck a nerve to think about, okay, well, boom. So now, if you've ever dealt with Charleston, you know that he really cares about the children and he's really a caring guy. Um, now, if I was his manager, I would tell him to go ahead and flip it and, and give us all what we want, what we need from him. And that's the word mm. because he has a he has a calling on him. He got something on him and he chooses to kick it how he kick it. But he I would tell him, hey, now go ahead and just do this since we got him. You got it. You got even some people that didn't like you agreeing with you right now. Go ahead and, and let's go on and go there. And then people will people probably wouldn't forget about the things, some of the things he said, because the sound bites are classic. But. They would uh, forgive him and accept his word now. 